following is a procedure on how to fill a syringe through the nose uh, when using a two-pot epoxy. I'll be using this um, pneumatic syringe filling system. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, is take my two-pot epoxy and I'm going to install a mixer to the end. I'm going to remove this piece and I'm going to go through and retain the cap which will hold the mixer on. Okay, I'm going to slide the cap over my mixer. And I'm going to go through and just attach my mixer to the end of the two-pot epoxy cartridge. Next, I'm going to go through and install an adapter, which will allow me to correct, uh, connect my syringe to the end of this mixer. This simply threads on the end of the mixer and then it's got a, um, a lure connection on the end which I can then install a uh, lure to lure connector. In this case I'm going to use a 90 degree connector. I'm going to go through and install this to the, to the end of my adapter and now I can attach my syringe directly to this 90 degree connector. I'm going to go through and just load this in to my syringe filling station. Okay, next I'm going to get my syringe ready. I'm going to take, uh, in this case it's a 3cc syringe. I'm going to take a piston and with this installation tool I'm going to go through and plunge the piston all the way to the bottom of the syringe. Okay, now before I attach my syringe to this adapter, I'm going to go through and I'm going to shoot epoxy and I'm basically going to remove all of the air out of the mixer and I'm going to bring my epoxy all the way up to the end of this elbow connector because the goal here is to get this syringe filled with as little air in the syringe as possible. So over here we have uh, a couple of air regulators that uh, control the air pressure going to this system. Um, I have 100 PSI coming into the system, but the second regulator, I'm going to start with a very low pressure, um, and you can adjust that air pressure to determine uh, the flow rate of the material through the mixer. So I'm going to start low. Right now it's at 10 PSI, and I'm going to go through and just bleed the air out of this system. You can see my material moving through the mixer. I'm going to try and bring the material all the way up to the edge here. Um, if you see that there's a lot of air in the material, um, you can actually go through and, and turn this down. And I, I can grab a cup here. And I can go through and dispense a little bit of the material just until it's air free. Yeah, I've got some material coming out at this point. And the goal here is to just bleed as much air out as possible. Okay, that looks pretty good. Go through and turn this up now. Go through and just remove a little bit of the excess here. Okay, at this point I'm ready to go through and just install my syringe. And attach this right onto the adapter. Now I'm just going to go through and shoot the epoxy into the syringe which will push the piston up. 
I have a little gauge tool here with a line on it that'll tell me when the syringe is full. And I'm just going to go through at this point and inject the material in. Again, if you need to adjust the air pressure a little bit here in order to fill the syringe at you know whatever speed you'd like, I can turn this up just a little bit. And now as you can see my syringe is filling nicely. It's pretty air free. When my gauge tool gets to the line here I'll stop. Okay this syringe is now properly filled through the nose with about as little air as possible. Um, I can go through now and remove my syringe. I'll install a tip cap and an end cap and this syringe is now ready to be used for filling or dispensing. Um, you can just take uh, as many syringes as you'd like. I'll go through, pre-plunge another piston, attach it to my adapter, install my gauge tool, and again just go through and inject the material until the syringe is filled. Again, if you'd like to make any adjustments to the air pressure here, you can. In this case, it's a little bit slow. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I'm also getting to the end of my cartridge here where I'm near empty. Uh, hopefully I can get enough out of this to fill this syringe. Turn the pressure up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that's full. Again, just remove the syringe at this point. Install a tip cap and an end cap. And ready for dispensing.